can't wait to get these babies in some of our new test batteries. Got the tangle tips. We got problems. Yeah, got problems. Tangle tips happen. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're we're going out with the the shaman himself, Mr. Shane Campbell, again here with Mr. Matt Kendrick. What's kind of weird, you know, we were talking with a, a guide last night at the stump, and he said this is the latest uh, spawn he's ever seen, and he's been guiding out here for like 30 years. We've just had all these cold fronts, and even though the water is like 60, we saw 68. These fish are just, they just haven't fully made that big wave. They had, we had a big rain last week, brought the water up, and fish need stable water conditions for spawning. No matter if it's going up or down, they just like, they like stable. For Lent, I have decided to abstain from coffee. This is very tough for me. I, uh, I started having the shakes. I, um, you know, within days I had withdrawals, had headaches, it was tough. I've gone to something else. I need some dark sort of liquid in my body. And I've come up with a little mixture here that I like. And it's a mushroom chai mixture. Never thought I'd be doing this, but you know, when you're off coffee, you're doing extremes. I even got a frother. We're gonna froth it up. Hopefully we don't puke this up. No chum on the boat today. Dude, no chumming. Hopefully no chumming on the boat today. I'm so sorry. I puked on Matt's truck yesterday. I puked on his boat yesterday. That's not that's not uh, what you strive for as a buddy, you know. But I, I washed it off. I tried to do the best I could. The health update is we're feeling good. We're gonna have some good herbals this morning, and then we're gonna get our dangle on, folks. When your buddy calls and says they're moving up on the bank on Rayburn. Yeah! You get in the boat and go. Prediction from the shaman today. Uh oh. Already prediction time? Uh, we're gonna catch it. Because it's what we do out here. We got some new colors, some new uh, crappie baits I haven't even tried yet. And we're gonna flick them out there and get popped, throw them in the cooler, and catch them, boy. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, try to thread that gap over there. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Might split the top cap. We need about six more inches of the water. Speaking of puckering moments, going for my first meal of the day here. It's tradition. Go to the, uh, what was it, Pine? Piney Point Plaza. Piney Point Plaza gas station. You get yourself a little, little biscuit or a little toaster. You guys whipping a bass back there in the background. Let's go have a good time today. Okay. Some grass action? Should have a little grass action. Grass action. Got it. There goes that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rogue. Little rogue dart fish. Good darky. Got, got that half drilla. There, bud. Pull up and look in there a little further. Yeah.
Oh my gosh, did you see that? Yeah, Holy cow. <laughs> well, that was cool. I think he was on a bed. Just came up there and tacked. Not a big one, but wow, that was a fun strike. Thank you, sir, for the fun. All right, the crappies have been found. Oh, as soon as I say that, Shane is on. You gonna get this live well open? Uh, nah. I mean, he's legal, but we let these ones go. Yeah. Need a little bit more beef. It's getting a little tough in the shallows, but we're gonna switch to the old crappie game real quick and get a snatch. And uh, it's crawfish season in Texas. Might do a little crawfishing, a little crappie boil. You know what I'm saying? Show me where the girthy ones are. Look at them. Right. There you one. You want them? Yep. What do you got? Little boys. Little, little boys. They've all been this size. Look at how you're right here. Oh, look at all those. Surely there's something in there. Oh, maybe? No. no. Golly, you felt heavy. I don't know. That's a keeper, though. I feel like that's that's box worthy. Okay. And there Maybe. It goes. Yes. Yes. Be the one. Yes, big it. Oh, there we go. Finally got it. Knew it. it. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. How are they not? Okay. I was like, what's going on? Little guy. Little guy is attacking from the top. Oh, oh that, oh, that one looks oh, good. Oh, that's a head shaker. Oh, that's a look. trout. Look at the red belly. It's a brook trout. It looks like a. <laughs> Letting this fungus go? Yeah, yep. fungus doesn't look good. Don't want fungus in the pot. Oh, man, he's coming out for it. Yeah, he wants it. Oh, yo, you're going to light nibble on it, aren't you? Little, little sucky lot. Oh, oh. Doubled up. Got them little boys. Got them little, little fellers. A couple of donkeys in there now. Technically, that one's long enough, but uh, yeah. can't do it. Got him. This might be a better one. Yeah, buddy. We're going to eat good tonight. You got it. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, that's a giant. Holy cow. Do you need a net? I don't have one. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that is a baby. Dude, that's probably a 17 incher. Yeah, no, you did. There's another one there too. Got a kid. Oh, they're already coming out. Coming out. Oh, that was a big one, too. Oh, God. Those are juicies. There were two little piles in there. Yeah. You're, you're kind of the other one there, Matt. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh. It's hooked up. It's off hooked. Here I come. Here I come. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That was a good one. got drone power. Somebody's about to get oh, one. Yep. <laughs> oh, keeper. Come here. Oh. oh, good thump on it too.
nice. Oh, oh. Goal. that looked good. Holy cow. That one about jerked it out of my hand. Ding dong. Oh. Yeah, no. A little bud. Brush. You have a big one on you. You have a big one on your jig right now. Okay, he's, he's no, not, get, get, lift it up. Lift it up a little bit. That one's on your jig. Lift it up. I'm lifting. He's away from oh, me. Damn. He ran away. Look at that. Bucket tree. Is that one there on the back side? Yes. Big papa. That might be a big one there. Is that one on your jig? Yeah. Got him. Had them on. Big. Oh my god. Oh, you're down below her. Oh, yeah. I missed that. Oh, oh, oh she's coming. She's coming. She's coming. See that? Yeah. Oh, oh she got it. That's a big one. That's a big crappie. Big crappie. Yes. Oh, it's a bass. Dad gum it, dude. I was like, that's a three pound crappie. <laughs> I just saw that big thing move off that log. I was like, there we go. here we go. This is gonna be my PB crappie. Oh, what do you think about a little crawfish crappie and one bass <laughs> for the fry? Big and small, they eat them all. Just picking them off. It's addicting. It's weird. It's like seeing a big tuna on the scanner, and you're like, that's my fish. We got a mark. I'm going after that fish. That's probably a good enough keeper. What's happening right there? It's a stump with a mating session going on on it. Oh, oh. oh. oh, oh. So, there they go. There they go, there they go. There is one, don't you know? Shane has got one on, and I'm gonna be next. These are keepers for the pan. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, got a big one on mine. Oh, goodness. No. Oh. I'm going to do it. Would keep, but it's not. It's not what you call a keep keeper. guys we are having ourselves a little little time here jigs jigs and darts we are on a pile of spawning crappie right here this is really fun we're not going all the way to the bank and like sight casting at stumps we're looking at the stumps that are up on top of these creek channels in the back of this uh this cove and we're looking for the stumps that have the crappie that are spawning. And the way crappie spawn, it's kind of weird. Shane's got one on. It's more of a swarm technique. So largemouth, oh gosh, good one too. Uh, largemouth will do just a pair. Matthew? <laughs> crappie, there'll be like dozens of male crappie and then there'll be a female that gets up on there. And so all the males are kind of swarming around this one female. 
Let's look at that. Swarming. Hell I'll take see. that for you, sir. Thank you, buddy. Put you right in here. In you go. There is blood. Oh, goodness. Large. Come here. Oh, yeah. That's a boxer. Oh, it's happening right here. Oh, yeah. No. This is Spawn City back here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Absolute wild. Oh, my God. Here, I went. I went. No, that's fine. We'll figure it out. Oh, there was one. Oh, yes. Oh, dude. I couldn't go up. Oh, I got another one. Ah. They're snatching panties down there. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of damn panties. They're panty snatchers. Like they're floating. Oh goodness, that one. That was a thump. Oh, this is big, dude. I got a large one here now. Head shaking. Big thump too. Oh yeah. Oh Good flopper. Man. Not as big as what I thought it was gonna be. That's a that's a hello Charlotte there. Get me to the frying pan. Show me the butter. Mmm. Get him out of there. Got to get him out of there. There you go, Matt. Boat up. Packing him. Oh, that's a good. That's a big one. Juicy one. Swarm attack. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they're like bees. Oh, 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 God. Finally. Oh, another hog. Come here, Deborah. Mm. Mm. Got that little dangle dart and the electric chicken. Good color. They're right on the edge of that creek yeah. channel. There's like there's some sort of stump or something yeah. there. Or hard spot. That's a cool spot. It's cool to like, I've, I've caught them like this, not on live scope, but where yeah. you're looking at a stump and to see them on just underwater stump is kind of cool. That one's tiny. Oh, that's. That's the stump. Okay. That's not what we want. Oh gosh. Oh, that's a stump. That's a huge one. Holy. All right. Well, we got our mess of crappie. That's what you call it. And you just got a wad in there. I don't know how many it is, but we're definitely not over the limit. That'd be 75 crappie. So I think we're doing okay there. We're going to break out, you know, a couple of frosties, frosty brews, get some, hopefully some crawfish, but definitely going to cook these crappie up just right, y'all. All right. We were here at Tackle Addicts about to do some some fish cleaning. We've actually done this before on this channel, right here, Shane and I, back in the day. We're gonna do the old infamous layout of the crappie here, get a little photo. But I would have to say that these two right here are full grown beasts. Look at this. So this was pretty interesting because we found they were spawning on stumps in the back of the creek, but we didn't actually see the stump out of the water. We no. were just casting to stumps we saw on live scope. And these babies were swarming. These are the big females right here. See some of their male companions towards the back. Mix of, uh, these bigger ones are white crappie. See the bars? This black crappie just have like the, the specks in there. Which by the way, black crappie tattoo happening this summer right there. Boom! On the inside of the arm. Are you really doing that? Yep. Got the artist coming down from the, the great north. Are you putting a large mouth on the other side? Or? Large mouth is going to be here so we can sniff. <laughs> and sniff both. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to tell the kids what we caught them um, it is. It's not available yet, but I think everyone knows it's coming, right? I, I think. Did you, did you tell them? <laughs> it's coming when? Uh, you know, fall. 
coming in the fall. God, dude, why do we have to wait so long? I, this just is what it is. God, it's supply a, chain? Yeah. yeah. So these are what we're working with right here. It's still dangle dart. That's your typical bait you're going to use when they're, uh, well, they eat this 24-7, but you just got to sit it right on top of one. Put that on a jig head. This one's more of a mover. It'll be good for this time of year. Put on a little underspin blade. Or you could do straight jig head and just kind of swim it through them. Sometimes I like that. This is more finesse approach with the saucy. Just a mini little boot tail. Extended that out. Swims nice. And then, <clears throat> if you want that straight dangle, but you don't want to give them just a plain old dart, put the little bug on there. Everybody knows that bug is the drug. And, uh, those little tails kick, so they just munch it. They just love it so much. Hmm. Phase two of this operation. We're Prime. making crispies. Got a little note right here. Give to Rackley. Guggen mix. Folks at home. Looks like we've got a little spicy, a little regular. Um, we've been trying to work on a little recipe for making a little crispies, and uh, I feel like we're pretty, pretty close here. You want to make sure you capture the moment that I fry my knuckles? Yes. Watch those eyebrows. This is not good. Throw it in there. Oh boy! Oh, I'm scared of it. Now. Back up, Stoge. So there's not like I can't like. Oh yeah, because it's you have to come in low, low speed with it. What's the problem? It's it's the risk of um, getting the big flame on this guy. Yeah. Burn up. Try this at home, kids. Alrighty, folks. So, we got ourselves a bowl. We got our Guggen mix. It's gonna be our uh, golden crispy uh, recipe mix that we're coming out with probably in the fall. And this one's got a little bit of garlic in it. <clears throat> but it's just kind of a crowd pleaser. You know, not gonna offend anyone. And I'm going to straight go in the mix, raw, with these fish. Just literally using the moisture off of the fish, being freshly clean, thrown into a little cool water bath. Kind of mix them up. You can actually put, um, put it in a bag as well. Shake it up in a bag. And then when you pull the fish out, you've got just a light, light coating on there. If you want to go thicker, you can use like a sauce. Uh, some people like to soak them in milk, like my mom. Um, you can put them in a hot sauce, so it creates like a sticky or so some sort of like your favorite wing sauce or whatever. You can do that as well. But for these, we're going straight for the flavor. Don't want to add anything else. We're trying to get the best uh, best taste of the natural crappie and uh, and get the best taste of just the mix in there. So it's, you know, do a little field sampling today. Ready? It's a slow burn. We want to take them out when they're golden brown. And we don't have these in a big, like thick pot of oil, but normally if, if they're fully floating, they're done. I'm just looking at the color and I'm looking for a little separation in the meat. See that flaky meat starting to come out? Pull them out. So these are about done. We got one giant in there. Gotta make some crusty internet videos. There it is. Alright, the shaman is served first. Get the first <laughs> oh. tasting because. That was really.
shot with a drive here. Is it burning? Yeah. 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 It's tasty. That is tasty. Is there some flavor on there? Yeah. Was there a little hint of lemon in there? I think there's a little uh, lemon and garlic. A little lemon and garlic. Yeah. I taste the lemon. It tastes good. Good? Crispy? Yeah. It's got a nice little crisp, crystals. Yeah, man. Mm. That's not going to offend anybody. I like that. That one's the, part, the party pleaser right there. Cold water. That's a different batch. Yep. It's the old Cajun mix. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's got that extra dangler on there, too. Ooh, son. There's a lot of big gator yesterday. Crispy Goldens. Oh yeah. Wow, that's good. Jump in, fella. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, yeah, wow. that's, that's gonna be real wow. spicy. Wow, that's hot. It's a hot one. <clears throat> I, I can't put this in my mouth. You broke it open. You broke the seal. Uh. That looks painful. <laughs> Surely you can't taste anything. You're just tasting heat, just liquid me. oil. Does it got a kick? It's good. Okay. I'm gonna wait. What do we got on that? I like this one a little better. Okay, a little spicier. Yeah, it's got a little more flavor, a little saltier. That one kind of had like a lemon fresh flavor. I like this one. A little Cajun. Okay. Spicy Cajun boys. You like I'm it. A, I'm a Cajun boy. I'm a Cajun boy. <laughs> Enjoy my crap. It's a sucking Give me that one of the sorry <laughs> broke off. <laughs> Shane, I don't want to break that one. All right, here we go. Too hot, too hot to handle. No. Oh. What do you got on it? Quite frankly, this guide service. Dude. You like it? I do. I do like that one better. It's got a little extra kick. Good. I like that one. A little pow. I'm dipping in a little Rayburn pollen dust. <laughs> For a little finisher. Mm. A little sweet pine pollen. I don't know, man. That's a I, tough one. I don't know. I, I honestly I really like the original. Now we're just ready for some crawfish. Mm. I mean, it's a full blown ET Mardi Gras. East Texas, hold down. Who down? <laughs> hold down. What a crappie town. We should get the washer boards and the corn on the boards. What's that? It can get real interesting out of here. That's about it. You know what happens though when you put washer boards outside in East Texas and you're right next to hear that tink and washers in each other? They just like come out mm -hmm. of the woods. Hey man, you got crop? Hey man! Y'all just laying some washers over there? <laughs> I love ET. God bless ET. Huh? Let me grab my daddy lights. Oh y'all, that is so delicious. I never get tired of eating Golden Krispies. And uh, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can cook crappie and I've come to love blackening them and, and grilling them and everything like that. But just get together with the boys and having some Golden Krispies, just good old time. So. Go ahead and smash that like button today. Hopefully you learned something on the fishing front, cleaning, maybe even cooking if you've never done it before. This is a great time to get out there. Crappie are going to the banks. Yee! And uh, we're out here at ET, just getting it. And uh, it's crappie season, so you see a lot, of, a lot of people on the banks. But you can catch crappie just about anywhere in the country. Super plentiful, super delicious. And I enjoy the heck out of fishing for them. So give them a shot. It's similar to bass, and I think you'll like it if you've never done it. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Shane, who I call the shaman, taking us out here on Rayburn uh, as well. Um, I've known him for, for many years. Used to be his, his rep in, the, in another life. Um, and, and now we're still buddies. So, you know, just still hanging in the fishing industry. It's a beautiful thing, y'all. Blessed to be working in it. Thank you for all your support. God bless you in the great outdoors. I will see you guys on the next. Thank you.